Hello, this is One Black British Woman's Voice. Um, today I just want to look at um, or to talk about a clip that I saw on the internet recently. In this clip, I think it's titled White Man Gets Punched Out or Racist Man Gets Punched Out. And in this clip, uh, it starts off with this black woman being bombarded by a tirade, a, ty a tirade of racist slurs uh, and languages and aggression by a white man standing behind her. This onslaught of racial abuse goes on for something like five, ten minutes, and it's happening on a packed tube train or a metro because this is an incident that happened in America or this particular incident happened in America and it's happening on a tube train packed with other individuals and a lot of other black individuals at that and this white male is calling this black woman all sorts of names making uh, a derisive commentary about her appearance about her hair and everything else and no one says anything no one says anything and you can actually see the woman is risibly shaken by this incident as it's occurring because if you look at her hands her hands are actually shaking but Throughout all of this, what keeps going through my mind was, or what kept going through my mind was, when was someone going to say something to defend her? Now, what happened is after a point, the racist guy is swelled with so much bravado, he decides he's going to take on the rest of the tube train and starts hurtling racist abuse at various other black people who, you know, are making little commentary, but not really doing anything, just making little commentary. So he starts calling them monkeys this and monkeys that and etc. And suddenly from nowhere this black guy riled up we're talking here swollen from the rage of what he's been listening to for the last five ten minutes this black guy comes hurtling down the middle of this metro and guns for this racist and gives him a punch that made the ancestors cheer you know and as this black guy's hurtling towards this racist white guy to punch him because he's mad he's angry he's just listened to this white this racist hurling abuse at this black woman for the last five ten minutes as he's hurtling down the tube train to, to connect fist to, to this racist jaw everyone's stopping him suddenly the whole the whole tube train becomes a wash a light with activity and commentary and, and 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 people wanting to do something and help none of this help was forthcoming whilst the woman had to single-handedly take on the racist abuse that this person was uh, emitting. This has led me to ask a question that I've asked before. What or what was happening on that tube? Why, even though there were black people on there and enough black people on there, okay? We're not talking one or two, we're talking it was, it was quite full. What was going on within the collective consciousness of the black people on that tube train Why they decided to absolve themselves of any responsibility? What was going on with the collective mindset on that train? Why it was easier for a group of black people to let this black woman receive and suffer the abuse than do anything. But then when the black guy wants to do something and he wants to make it physical, suddenly everyone wants to be, suddenly everyone wants to be a martyr and save the black guy. And I cannot figure out what it is that's going on on that chew train, why they would let that happen. Now, a lot of my irie comes from the fact that this has happened to me. And as I said on, on my Twitter account, I was actually racially attacked by a group of white people. And then I was the one that ended up getting charged when I responded back to them. But what I noticed was when this woman, this is my experience now, called me names and called me nigger, right? There was one black woman on the train at the other end and she didn't do anything and there's nothing she could do. I suppose because she's one person. But it was just something about... The, 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 it's something about public transport that racists get really brave on it. But it's something about public transport that provides the ideal setting for rabid racists to just run their mouths for rabid raises to feel emboldened enough so that they can exclaim to the whole world that they think you're a nigger and there's no repercussion. It's something about public transport where they scuttle on the little rats that racists are and they go, great.
yeah, let me target that black person. If I could give you the number of microaggressions, racist microaggressions that I've experienced on public transports, which I know were racist microaggressions because when I confront it, it becomes full on racist aggression. If I could give you the number, you wouldn't believe it. Or maybe you would if you're a black woman. But I'm going off the beaten track here. My point is, why did they not, why did not, why did the large group of black people on that, 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 that tube station not step forward and defend this woman. I find that black people, or it seems that black people are very good at mourning and, um, and exclaiming how evil racist is and, 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 and they're very good, it seems to be, or black people seem to be very good at speeches and 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 twittering about how awful racism is and 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 once in a while black people as a community will burst into an activity where we'll be on the streets with our placards but we seem to be very good at being this but not very much with kind of being like let's do this and i know i shouldn't use black people because it's a blanket term but if you've watched my other video you'll notice I, on my other video when I look at blanket terms, the only person a blanket terms upsets is the, is the person that it, 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 it's very target specific on. The only person that that statement will upset is the black person that's not doing anything. No one stood and came forward for this black woman. Instead, they let her be squashed by this racist piece of trash. I also remember years ago I went on a march when the BNP set up their headquarters in Welling I went on a march and there were 10,000 people and I was one of those 10,000 people I was the only black person on this entire march now you could argue that me being the only black person is probably reflective of the fact that black people live under racism all the time and they maybe have no interest in attending a march where they talk about how bad racism is because they live it and they've got other methods and things to do but it always struck me that I was the only black person at this bloody march. And I remember there was a Scottish guy who brought out his bagpipes and started playing. I was like, even the Scots are here being angry about the BNP setting up their headquarters in Welling. But I couldn't fathom where these black people were. Why, again, I asked my question, was nothing done until the black guy charged down the train and punched the shit out of this racist? Why? Why was nothing done? And, you know, I've come across Twitter tweets and Facebook posts where people talk about minding their own business. <laughs> Racism is every black person's business. If you leave it to go unchallenged, it carries on. It snowballs. It doesn't go away. Funny enough, though, the same black people that will mind their own business will be the first people on Facebook and Twitter talking about how they want backup for a racist incident that happened to them. You'll find that. You'll find that contradiction. I, I'm just speechless and I've included a link um, of the incident uh, to the bottom of this page um, and you can watch it in all its full glory <laughs> I just just why 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 did no one step forward at the very least someone could have made commentary back and drowned out this racist with their own commentary but no one even did that they just let this woman suffer at the end, at the receiving end, of a tirade of racial abuse. And then we collectively as a community and as a race wonder why we don't make as many, many leaps and bounds of other races. What was that? Anyway, that's one black British woman's voice. I'm out.